Hi guys, this current challenge is called conditional statements in C. So in this challenge, we are going to receive an integer and that is going to be a positive integer. So there are two things that we need to do and they explain these to us in the task section. If n is between one and nine, with one and nine being included, then we need to print the lowercase English word for that corresponding number. Otherwise, if n is greater than nine, we can simply print the string greater than nine. So this current challenge is about if else statements, but we're not going to have a set of if, else if, and else statements. We are simply going to have one if statement with an else statement as well. And we are going to handle the load of that task through an array. Let's look first at the sample input here. If we receive the number five, five is less than nine. So we have to print the word five. If n is equal to eight, then we need to print the word eight because eight is less than nine. But if n is equal to 44, then we need to print greater than nine because 44 is not less than or equal to nine. So this is the solution that you can see on the right. You can write yours below their comments that says, write your code here. And what I have is an array. I'm calling that array numbers and I'm using it to store const char pointers. So this is C language and we don't have the C++ string header. Here I can have a simple if statement and verify if n meets the conditions, meaning that n is anywhere between one and nine. Then I can have this format specifier S because I want to print more than one character. And what I want to print is the corresponding word from my numbers array. So for instance, if n is equal to one, I can have numbers and then have n as the index. But if I do that, I'm going to get two as the value because arrays are zero based. So I have to say n minus one and the element at index zero is one. So that will be correct. Otherwise, if n is greater than nine, then I'm simply going to use my printf function to print greater than nine. And in this case, I don't need any format specifier because this is directly a constant string that I'm having here. So that's it for this code. We've passed the sample test cases. I'm just going to submit this code now. And we've also passed all the test cases. So thanks for watching this video, guys. If you like my solution, subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications. I'll catch you next time.